Bitcoin's on a run right now. Yeah, it is. I remember we did our interview like eight years ago. You had lost a bunch of money on Bitcoin. Sold everything. Mm -hmm. I regret it. We went it. down to like 10 and now it's at 70? I should have went all in when it was down. I'd be scared to buy when it's low for some reason. I just don't like... I know that's what you're supposed to do, but I just... I don't know. I don't like buying low. I mean, I don't like buying high either, but... But you don't know what high is. Yeah, exactly. I like, think about investing, be, man. This shit can be... It can go back down to 15000 in the next two months. You never know. Well, I mean, it, it's... uh. A lot of it is tied to regulation. See what I'm saying? Like the, the U.S. passed a law that somehow changed the way Bitcoin operates. Suddenly you could plummet or it could go the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. you, you never you never really know. Um, I was thinking about investing. I never touched it just because I'm a different type of investor. I, I buy shit and I don't sell. Yeah. Like I, I have Google stock from 2010 that I never sold. Yeah, that I don't plan on selling. So it's different. But but I remember you even tweeted. You said you said uh, y'all think NFT is going to come back or it's a wrap. It's coming back. Things come back. I know CryptoPunks is. There's CryptoPunks. There's uh, Board Ape Yacht Club. Board Ape. I ain't heard too much about Board Ape. That's what I was into though. I yeah. Had, yeah, I had a few you, Board Apes. You had a few Board Apes. Mm -hmm. How many did you have? Well, I had one board ape, and then I had like three mutants or some shit like that. Aha! Uh -huh. You still have? No, hell no! I sold them niggas. They Got a went profit to... or a loss? I made a little bit of money, but I could have made a lot more if I would have sold it earlier. Yeah, I, I mean, for me, the person that really spoke for me when he said this was. Tyler, the creator, he said, it'd be one thing if it was really exceptional art, but it's a monkey in a Supreme hoodie. Yeah. And he's like, I just don't get it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's like when I look at a, like a Damien Hurst or a Andy Warhol or, a, you know, Basquiat, I just did a whole feature on Basquiat sisters. You know, and they had like a billion dollar collection. Mm -hmm. And like you look at that and you're like, damn, like Basquiat was on some shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You, you yeah. look at it and you're like, yo, the colors and the imagery and, and the way he puts his shit together. Because Basquiat is the most expensive selling American artist of all time. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Like his stuff literally sells for 500 million, 700 million, that type of shit. Like when I look at a Basquiat, I say, like, yo, like I, I could see why it's selling for that much because it's so different and it's just so unique. So say you bought a Basquiat, right? I've never bought a Basquiat. I'm saying like, say you did. Okay. And I came to your house and I scratched it. Well, I used to own art. I used to own a bunch of Keith Haring's. You insure everything. What would happen if I ripped it? I would call my insurance company and I would say, give me the money for this fucked up Basquiat. I'd probably have to file a police report <laughs> and Damn. you would probably get arrested in order really? for me to... Well, I mean, they wouldn't pay it if I fucked it up myself, probably. Oh, shit. You see what I'm saying? I, 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 I never got into art like that, so I was just wondering. Well, like... if you own if you own Bored Apes, and you definitely were in art. Yeah, but Because like... them shits weren't cheap. But what do Bored Apes go for, like 35000 or something? Hell no. Them was like 200000 200000 yeah, I think they start at like the the cheapest at one point, like well, before they blew up. Yeah, before like, they really when they was up, like yeah. hot, like the cheapest one was a hundred. Hold on, let's and see. You, want, you, you didn't want the cheapest one because you want to get the one that's rare and you sell it for higher. Let's take a look. Uh, they definitely gone down in price. How much is it? Hold on a second. Uh, is it open C? Mm -hmm. Okay, price low to high. The lowest one is about 20 ETH, which is 73,000. That's kind of cool. I feel like it's going back up then. 70, 73,000 is the cheapest one. But you buy one for 200. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, the interesting thing about Bored Apes is that uh, you actually own the copyright when you buy it. So you could put it on T-shirts. You could sell it. Yeah. So that's what you want to do. Yeah, it was, it was just dope feeling to have it. You know, change your profile picture and shit. Like, yeah, you, know, it's so just, you showed the Bored Ape on there. Yeah, it's like a flex. It is a, definitely a flex. Yeah. So you bought it for 200 and sold it for about 200 I made a little money on it. I forgot what I sold it for, but it was it was a decent amount. Okay. Well, I remember on GQ you had your watch collection. Well, your jewelry collection. I, I'm a watch guy, so I focus on the watch part. Yeah. Do you still have most of that collection? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't sell my jewelry. I, I do trade watches, but I don't, like, sell my jewelry and then... I don't like to sell watches. I like to trade trade them. Yeah, I do the same thing. Yeah. I do the same thing. You had the Richard Mill, the, the Johan Blake. Yeah, I did. You traded it. For a different Richard Mill. Mm. You said it was your dumbest purchase in the GQ thing, but I don't think that Richard Mills are dumb purchases. No, it's not. It's just like, in my experience, maybe I'm selling them wrong or maybe I'm trading them wrong, but in my experience, like every time I trade, I'm adding money. Huh. So it's like, I mean, the last trade that I did, it was like even trade, but I still feel like I lost a little bit. You know, if a jeweler's evenly trading you, that means they gotta be making money. No, the jeweler's gotta make a little bit off of it. Yeah, so. Unless you're going directly to a private person and then sometimes it gets a little dicey. You can end up yeah, I just don't trust the watch. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. A fake watch. Yeah, so. My man, Antonio Brown, he ended up selling someone a couple of fake Richard Mills. Really? Yeah, he got sued. Damn. Yeah. I didn't know that. He kind of told me the story. I, I interviewed him recently, and it was like one of Floyd Mayweather's people was like, owed him some money, so he let him hold these two watches. Then he ended up selling the watches to this other dude, and the watches ended up being fake. Mm. He ended up getting sued. So, Yeah. You got to, I just, you know, I have a, like, one main jeweler, my man David Bling in New York. I've, like, essentially bought all my watches for him. Yeah. And they've, they've all been 100% legit every single time. Yeah. 